Alyssa was diagnosed with leukemia on a Monday afternoon. And she died 10 days later. And you do not die of leukemia in 10 days. She died of medical errors. She got a hospital-acquired infection with a C. diff. Um, there was a boy in the room next door to her in this hospital. They shared bathrooms. And he got C. diff and died. But I didn't find that out until months later. She became septic, but they had ordered lab tests to look at this. And when the lab tests came back, they showed there were critical values and no one acted on them. She died a painful and a horrific death. And it took the organization three years, seven months, and 28 days to meet with me and have the first real honest conversation. But the two main people that I needed to be there, the nurse and the resident that were part of my care team weren't there. So the people around the table could only talk to a certain extent. I've never been able to really hear about the last 12 hours of her life. Everybody has to put forth the energy and the knowledge and share different things. There's a new mindset now, and it's called patient safety too. And that is how do we take when things went right and we take those and move them throughout the organization? How do we learn from the right models? That brings joy and meaning back to work for healthcare providers. Because patient safety in healthcare is about connecting the heart and the head again. When we start moving that culture, then we're going to see a true tipping point in healthcare.